Dad, it's snack time. What's up, everyone? Welcome to another Ween and what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? food review. So today I got all these awesome packages from Munch Pack. Thank you guys. This is awesome. This is a lot of packages. And to top it off, they even made their own <clears throat> drawing of Weston and a letter which is really, really cool. Wayne, loving your channel. Keep up the reviews and keep doing what you're doing. We thought you might enjoy trying some of our favorite international snacks too, Munch Pack. Look at that drawing of Wesson, that's really cool. So, let's save Wesson's package for last, but let's see what's in here. A few minutes later. Let's start off with the Oishi Ube Pillows from the Philippines, and that's me, so I've actually never tried this, so I want to see what it's like. Pronounced Ube, Ube is a popular Filipino root vegetable similar to yams with a delica delicately sweet flavor, think vanilla, blended with the nuttiness of pistachios. Ooh. Oh yeah, that smells good, guys. Oh, let me get my other camera. Okay, here we go. So we got the ube in front of me. Check it out, guys. Look at that, it's cute. Uh, it's not focusing. There we go. Mm. Mm, these are good. Definitely got that ube flavor with a nice crisp, crisp to it. Mm. Oh yeah. Hmm. Oh, in the center, it's ube filled. These are definitely good. Oh, I gotta make sure I got more of these. Hmm. Oh yeah. Frosty vanilla cookies. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Awesome. Frosty vanilla, vanilla cookies from Colombia. Scrumptious treats made of delicious vanilla cream sandwiched between perfectly crunchy vanilla cookies. Oh yeah, here we go. Bah! Bah! Ew. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's good, also. Shoot. I can do these. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> they basically taste like vanilla Oreos. Do they have vanilla Oreos? I'm not even sure. But that's what it would be like. <laughs> oh. From the Netherlands, this is interesting. Uh, I guess mango is popular in the Netherlands. These gummy straws are the perfect mixture of sour and sweet and are packed with so much mango flavor you'd swear you're eating a real thing. Alright. Mm. Now, I'm actually not the biggest mango fan, so we'll see. I know, don't hate on me. Filipinos love mangoes, but not me. They're just alright. Be 
gini 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 Not bad, actually. I think this is better than eating actual mangoes. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Definitely has that ooh, mango and sour patch flavor. That's pretty good. Lotte Kancho. I don't know if I said that right. This is from South Korea. These tasty chocolate filled biscuits are sure to put a smile on your face. Speaking of smiles, did you know rooftops in Korea are curved at the ends giving the appearance of a smile? Fun fact, I didn't know that. My Korean people, is that true? Pancho. Folks, there we go. Alright, chocolate filled biscuits. Oh, there's a little character just like the box that's winking. It's on the little thingy here. There's a chocolate inside. There you go. Let me get a few more. Oh yeah, I just need a few more to get that smile in. <laughs> These are also pretty good. Umaibo teriyaki burger flavor. This popular crunchy and savory corn snack is a hit in Japan. This particular flavor has a sweet and savory teriyaki taste with added smokiness. Oh yeah. Teriyaki burger flavor. <clears throat> Give it a go. Oh. Look at that. Got a hole in the center. Mm. Okay, right, let's give it a go. Mm. Interesting. Now, this is a change up because everything I ate so far was sweet, and this is a uh, not sweet. I like that. That was good. Um, yeah, that was definitely good. All right. We got Kimbe's Old School Cornflake Chewy. Now, which one is that? There it is. Hiding. I would definitely do that last one again. I wish I had more of that. Okay, this is from America, and I've never seen this. <laughs> so, I don't know about these other snacks. <laughs> I've never seen this. Uh, it's not a New York thing. It's a creamy peanut butter chewy made from scratch using natural cornflakes. Americans have been eating cornflakes since their creation in 1894. Okay, guys, check it out. Nice. Alright, so if you got nut allergies, don't give it to any kids. It's got nuts. Oh, Georgia grown. Definitely not a New York thing. I think. I've never seen this. Mmm. Alright, alright. So, it's kind of like 
a Rice Krispies treat made with cornflakes and peanut butter as the mixture to glue it all together. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Weston's like, I want some of that. Alright, here you go, bud. Oh. Sorry. It's stuck to my fingers. <laughs> this is good, but it's pretty, pretty sweet. Very sweet. Here, Weston. Come. What do you think? Come here. Eat it. Right there. Get it. Yeah, go. All right. Fritz Z, Extreme Z, Blue Raspberry Flavor. This chewy fruit candy is the ultimate in having a sweet time with just the right amount of sour goodness sprinkled in. So another sour patch-like thing. This looks like a, um, whatchamacallit, like fruit by the foot, but sour. Boom. Fritzy, Frit Dash C, Extreme Z. From Thailand. Thailand, Thailand. Blueberry. Oh, I can definitely smell that blueberry in there. No, I can't have this, boy. Like, a lot of these things you can't have. So much sugar for you. Definitely like a fruit by the foot kind of deal. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. That sour doesn't hit you at first, but then it does at the end. At first you get that sweetness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, oh. See how fast I can do this. Three, two, one. Mm. You ever see where those videos where people race eating fruit by the foot? But then it's like, oh, once you got it in the mouth, I'm done. No, you gotta swallow that. All right. Anyways, on to the next snack. <clears throat> Bourbon Petite Assorted Cookies. This is from Japan. It's only one of these. And I don't know which flavor this is. Mm, chocolate. By the little Hershey's Kisses in the bottom. That's how I know it's chocolate. Bourbon is big in Japan due to their variety of snacks. There's something for everyone. They're just as adorable as they are perfect for sharing too. Unfortunately, Weston, I can't share these with you. Oh, this is cool. Although the first one is crushed. Let's get those crumbs. Okay. So this packaging comes with a little container. Look at that. Oh crap. I sneezed so hard the cookies broke. Oh hell, look at that. Little tiny cookies. Look at that, that's cute. Those are good, but I feel like that was dark chocolate, and I'm not the biggest fan of dark chocolates. So, those are just alright. And some water. I gotta <clears throat> clear the palate. A lot of sweet stuff. Ah, okay. Alright, what's next? 
refreshers strawberry flavor bang i wonder if beer meets food has ever tried this because this is from the united <laughs> kingdom these iconic chew bars were invented when the secret of adding fizz was discovered this flavor comes with a sweet and fizzy strawberry sherbet center all right let's give it a go i, I love pink stuff Okay. Oh, ah. I'm actually choking on for right now. This reminds me of Airheads and Chews, the square candy. So if you've ever had these, those, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it looks like the center does have a sherbet center. Can't really tell that much so. So this is the crisp and wholesome crackers with a savory tomato flavor. And this is from Thailand as well. Let's give it a look. <clears throat> so I think this is gonna be savory. Whoa, that's very tomatoey smelling. <clears throat> Check that out, guys. Focus. Anyways. Whoa. Definitely get that tomatoey. It does taste like tomatoes mixed with ketchup. Very interesting. I like it. It's a little weird. But I like it. Banta pink grapefruit now I'm not the grapefruit fan uh, so we'll see how this goes and this is from Japan as well so like three things from Japan limited edition pink grapefruit flavor is back for the first time since 2003 added vitamin C and real citrus gives it a sweet and tart authentic grapefruit flavor oh that's cool it says Fanta on the top of the cap. Uh, they don't do that in America, I think. Okay. Definitely smell grapefruit. Definitely smells like a freshly opened grapefruit. So, let's see. I, I don't like grapefruit, guys. Yeah, not for me. If you like grapefruit, you like this. Um, it's not overly sweet, actually. Uh, <clears throat> so, if you like grapefruit and you like soda, this is a good way to go if you like grapefruit. I don't like grapefruit. So, <laughs> we'll leave that to the side. Tora Oodles Tiny Tangy Fruit Chews. Tangy Mixed Fruit Flavor Miniature Chews from China. Boom. Open it up. Oh, okay. That's a very interesting. Check that out. Oh. For some reason, I thought it was going to be easy to chew. Like, crunchy. But, uh, it's chewy. Just like it says. It's a fruit chew. I don't know if these individual fruit chews have different flavors. Or if they're just different colored. Mm. They do have different flavors to them. They're not just colored differently. It's pretty good. Mm. 
None for you. But again. So, on to the next one. Froakie paprika chips from the Netherlands. Smoky paprika. Smoky paprika. Smoky paprika and savory garlic seasoned potato chips from the Netherlands. A little birdie. Yeah, smells good. Boom, boom. Okay, it's not bad. But it's not that good either. Uh, it's a little bit overly salty. It's growing on me though. <laughs> From South Korea, Crown Seikom Daikom Lemonade Chews, refreshing and tart lemonade flavored fruit juice. From South Korea, mm. okay. Oh. Ooh, definitely big pack of lemony flavor in there. Lemon flavor. That's pretty good. Um, kind of tastes like a lemon uh, starburst. <laughs> There's a little slight difference to it, but pretty similar. Uh, yeah, the chew kind of caught me off guard because I bit into it and broke right in half down the middle. So, that was interesting. Okay. Let's go with Thailand again. Thailand. Let, let's ask Google, actually. I don't want to mispronounce this again. Okay, Google. How do you pronounce Thailand? That's pronounced Thailand. Thailand. Not Thailand. Thailand. Why, why you got such a big box for just these two? I mean, it's cool. But, uh, yeah. Alright, oh, one broken. So you can see the chocolate in the center. It's hard to focus there. I know. Whoa! I'm gonna do something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, definitely different from Pocky, Pokey. The, the vanilla um, stick itself <clears throat> reminds me of like those tea biscuits that like, old grandmas drink with their tea. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. Mm. And then you get a nice hint of chocolate in the center. These are nice. But I think I prefer Pocky, Pokey. Now I've been looking forward to this. Cheetos Shots Flaming Hot. Cheetos Flaming Hot Shots. Cheesy crunchy bites with a mild heat and lime flavor. Ooh, lime. And this is from Mexico. So this is interesting. Cheetos except in crumbles. I'm gonna check that out. Alright, in we go. Cheesy crunchy bites with a mild heat. This is hotter than anything 
I usually eat in America um, treat wise or how do I say <clears throat> or like chips wise um this is definitely spicier than the normal flaming hots here I would say um I prefer the lime flavor though that I get with the flaming hot Cheetos lime uh, flavored ones in America <clears throat> That had some good punch to it. When you say, how you call this mild? Everything I've eaten lately was like barely spicy. This is, let's see. I've done the Popeye's ghost pepper wings. Those were barely any heat. I did the ghost pepper donut from Dunkin' Donuts. That had barely any heat. In the Papa John's, uh, Jack Lantern Pizza. I had some jalapeno uh, uh, side side order, and that had some decent kick to it. But this, this definitely beat all those by like tenfold, or at least by the jalapeno thing I tried. <clears throat> I guess it's interesting because they do do it by like your region. I know in. Uh, California had flaming hot Cheetos way before we had it in New York for it. I like saw it 10 years before it came to New York. I I went to California, visited family, and I'm like, what's this? Flaming hot Cheetos. We don't have that in America. Uh, or we don't have that in New York. So it's definitely a regional thing. And because I don't think New Yorkers would do well with spice, so they never brought it. But then they did and did well. And so, I always, I was very interested to see, was thinking that this was going to be hotter than what we get in America, and it definitely is. It was definitely hotter, but this is good. But I wish the lime flavor was like what we got in <clears throat> New York, in America. Mm -hmm. That's good. <sighs> All right, guys. So we've gone through everything. Thank you again to Munch Pack. Everything was delicious, Ashley. But my favorite <clears throat> did me proud. <clears throat> Ube. Out of the sweet stuff, this was my favorite. Ube pillows. I'm surprised I never tried this. This is so good. Mmm. Alright, thank you to Munchpack for sending me these awesome treats. They're freaking delicious. So if you guys want to, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Check out Munchpack. Get your own international snacks and smile. And we're out. Deuces. Pardon me.